the question of the day is, does it make sense to get rid of something that gets 17 miles per gallon in order to buy something that gets 27, the Ford Focus? And I've had that Focus for a few years now, I guess five years, and I calculated out how much gas I've saved. So I've saved $3,500 on gas over that time. Uh, instead of driving the van. You'll note that I didn't get rid of the van, mostly because nobody wants it. You know, it's worth about 750 bucks, and I'd rather just keep it to haul stuff. The insurance doesn't cost any more to have two cars than one car here, which is pretty cool. So, total gas savings, $3,500. I bought the Focus for $3,500, so it's a break-even in that respect. Um, the piston got smashed by a valve seat that dropped into the engine and, and destroyed it, so that cost me $2,000 to have somebody fix uh, new tires, $250. Uh, new clutch, $1,000. So I'm actually in the hole about three grand, even though I've been getting better gas mileage with that one than with this one. So in my case, it would have been a break even if the car hadn't been a piece of crap. Uh, but because the car was a piece of crap, I should have just kept driving the old van. So, you know, before you just jump on something for gas mileage, especially if you're going to get higher car payments and, and, you know, pay 30 grand for a car that gets 10 more miles per gallon, think about it first, do the math, and you'll probably realize you should just be driving the old junker around instead.